evening and welcome. I'm Pastor Adam from Faith Lutheran Church, and it's a joy to have you with us for our evening prayer, Reflecting the Resurrection. Throughout the season of Easter, we are going to be reflecting on the resurrection in song, introducing to you some new hymns from this new hymnal supplement of the ELCA, All Creation Sings, because the resurrection is reflected throughout all of creation. We'll be reflecting on the resurrection through scripture as we share wonderful Bible stories, of the life-giving and life-transforming grace of God. We'll also be reflecting on the resurrection through service as we reflect on ways that we too can use our hands to do God's work. Again, thank you for joining us for worship tonight. Please join as we sing together, Earth, Earth, Awake. through the power of the resurrection, is made alive in us through the gift of holy baptism. As we begin this service by giving thanks for God's gift of baptism in our lives. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Refreshed by the resurrection life we share in Jesus, let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We thank you, risen Christ, for these waters where you make us new, leading us from death to life, from tears to joy. We bless you, risen Christ, that your spirit comes to us in the grace-filled waters of rebirth, like rains to our thirsting earth, like streams that revive our souls, like cups of cool water shared with strangers. Breathe your peace on your church when we hide in fear, Clothe us with your mercy and forgiveness. Send us companions on our journey as we share your life. Make us one, risen Christ. Cleanse our hearts. Shower us with life. To you be given all praise with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>
Our readings for these evening prayer services have come from different parables and teachings of Jesus that talk about the resurrection power of God's grace. Tonight, we reflect on the Beatitudes and Jesus' call to us to be salt and light. With the resurrection, we reflect and we wait on the coming power of God's grace and God's coming kingdom in ways where these are those who are blessed and who are living God's kingdom here and now. So these are the Beatitudes of Jesus from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way, they persecuted the prophets who were before you. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under a bushel basket, but on the lampstand and it gives light to all the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
We now join in a time for prayer. You're invited to lift up your prayers to God through the words of this song. If you would like to sing along, you can speak out your own prayers out loud. Spend time in silence. Write your prayers down any way you would like. Use this time, spend this time in prayer, knowing that God searches us and finds us in our need listens to our prayers, and gives us strength and power through the gift of the resurrection. Throughout the season of Easter, our Christ candle is lit, the Paschal candle, that reminds us of Christ's resurrected presence, burning with us always. Also, it is positioned near the baptismal font, reminding us that not only is Jesus the light of the world, but he calls us lights as well, to go out and share God's good news of resurrection with others. And so we are now called to action, to use our hands to do God's work. So may our eyes be opened to see the glory of the resurrection in all of creation. May our hearts be warmed by the grace of God that works resurrection life in us. And may our hands be moved to serve in resurrection glory as we help bring God's kingdom come here and now.
thank you for joining us for our evening prayer tonight as we've been reflecting on the resurrection. Please join us for worship on Sunday mornings at 9.30, either in person here in the sanctuary or online when the service is live streamed. Also join us next Wednesday as we continue this evening prayer series on reflecting the resurrection throughout the whole season of Easter. And now may you receive God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Mm -hmm.